Hey everybody, it's Andrew Kayser with AndrewKayser.com. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to code an AWeber opt-in form from a PSD. Now, when you get a PSD for an opt-in form, like the AWeber that we're gonna to do today, it, it's, always, it's always important to be able to take whatever it looks like and make it functional. I've, I've coded hundreds of these by now and every single one looked completely different than the other so it, it's definitely a good skill to have and I kinda wanna just bring you guys along with you know the entire thought process of how I go about doing each one I'm only gonna do one in this video but it, it's still gonna be enough to wrap the thought in your head so first thing we're gonna take a look at is the actual opt-in form design now as you can see on the left hand side we just got a couple things to, to list in and on the right hand side is where the actual form is so what I want to do is figure out what I can slice out and get rid of and use just just find like the very background image and the first thing I will do is remove your email address from this bar let's get rid of that opt-in button let's submit and let's go ahead and get rid of that Facebook Connect button now this is pretty this is a pretty good setup right here so we're gonna go ahead and save this as the background image and we'll just go ahead and PNG LBF opt-in background and this is into my okay we'll save that inside images and then we're going to go ahead and bring back these two buttons and we'll get rid of everything else well we'll keep the white background because we want that for our slicing okay now let's zoom in on the Facebook and as you can see I've got the submit button sliced up and next we're gonna grab the Facebook button go ahead and get nice and close to your monitor make sure you're getting everything definitely want to make sure that these look good pixel perfection okay so now that now we want to make this background transparent because of this drop shadow right here and that's that's kind of why we have so many so much space between that so let's go ahead and make this our LBF Facebook connect and this is going to be LBF submit okay so we'll go to edit no, we'll go to file save for web and devices this is Photoshop CS5 by the way so it might be a little bit different it might have to export okay we're gonna make sure that both of these are PNGs and they are and we'll go ahead and save those right here I hope that's not picking up the lawnmower that's going around uh, okay so now we're gonna open up these files and here we want the opt-in background the submit and the connect so all these other files we do not need gone okay so inside of the HTML I'm gonna create a div with an ID of we'll say LBF uh, opt-in that's that's pretty generic and we're gonna go ahead and paste the opt-in code that AWeber gave us from their website and the first thing I'm gonna tell you that it's not gonna look anything like the, the design there's just there's no way that's possible so we're gonna get rid of all this crap you know this is this is no good all this the entire style form and everything after the display none div it's pretty much gonna go we'll get we'll get rid of this label 
We'll get rid of this div class here. Get rid of these divs. Get rid of these button divs. Oh yeah, all all of these. We'll we'll keep this though because that's that's an image. That's for Aweber to track. Okay, so now we'll save that. Check it out. And okay, that's that's bare. Now we can start working in on our CSS. So LBF opt-in. And we are going to apply the background image, which is URL images LBF opt-in background.png. We'll set no repeat and we're gonna do a width of 600 picks and okay if you don't know the height just go up to in Photoshop and go to canvas size select pixels 600 by 285 width height is 285 pixels and we're gonna save that and check it out okay that is looking good so now we need to get this right here the submit button down here and the Facebook button right there not gonna be too hard so we're gonna do inside the index HTML file we're gonna find the input field input class text here we go now it's already got an ID assigned so we're just gonna go ahead and keep that just for the sake of not messing up anything with a Weber and we're gonna give it a position relative and we'll do top uh, let's say 180 picks I don't know this is just a guess and we'll go left 450 picks this is a uh, just to get it going now you can see it's right here now it's way too far down and way too far to the left from the left so we'll go 400 and 120 now that that's looking a little better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this and inspect the element now we're is this is just to speed up the process if the top was 120 we'll try 118 that looks a lot better 117 yeah we'll go 118 and then left will be 380 that looks good now let's try adding a width of 200 picks. Okay, that's too much, so we'll do 180. Too much, 170. That looks pretty good. Okay, so top 118, left 380, width 170. So we'll do top 180, 118. And what was that left? 380. 380 and a width of 170 picks. Now we come back here, refresh the page, and it's looking good. Okay, obviously that border has got to go. So we're going to go border zero picks. And now we can type in la 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 la. Okay, let's set up in Photoshop. We'll go cancel bring all this stuff back on your email address is the text so we're gonna set that up real quick value equals your your email we'll, we'll do okay and that'll be done next we're gonna do the submit type and since there is not an ID I'm going to add one LBF Submit. Well, we'll do opt in. Submit. Because that's exactly what it is. There might be other submit buttons on the page. Save that. Come back to your style.css and position relative top 130 picks, left 380 picks, width 170 picks. And We'll save that. Now that's 
I'm not gonna do it, so we'll go 160 just to see what goes on there. Okay, this goes down to two, one, 200. Okay, so instead of sitting here and doing all this back and forth stuff, I'm gonna, that's, that's generally how I do it, but for these videos, I kinda wanna get a little easier on your eyes. So let's go 190. And I just I just found out that you can double click on this value and then use your arrow keys to nudge it. That is cool. Okay. So we're going to go 196 left with 190. 196 left with 190. And we're gonna apply a background image of URL images. What well, what was that image called? Submit.png. LBF underscore submit.png. Background repeat. No repeat. And that should make it. Okay. So right off the bat here, I'm seeing we need to. Background trans background color needs to be transparent. We need to get rid of the submit value. Oops, did not mean to click that. Okay, so we're gonna do background color transparent border zero pix. Save that. Come over to the index file value. Delete that. Refresh the page. And okay, that's looking better. So we need to make it a little bit wider. Let's go ahead and inspect this element. Get this image open and see kind of what we're dealing with as far as height. Okay, width is 199, height is 45. Where did that go? Okay, so 199. One ninety nine, and we'll add height is forty five pix. Okay, so now that that's there, we're gonna make it look better. One ninety five, one ninety four. Let's let's go back to using the the arrow keys. So one ninety one is looking. Perfect. And the top, we're going to come on and just get right in between there. Let's say 152 is looking really good. Okay, so top 152, left 191. Top 152, left 191. Okay, open this up, refresh, la la la, submit, or now we're going to add the Facebook Connect button. Inside your index.html, you go ahead right here and just type in href equals, and I have this little link right here for this opt-in app that we have. So we'll put that there, and we'll do image source equals images what was that lbf fb connect.png oh i thought i was writing css for a second okay and alt equals connect with facebook you always want to set an alt tag because in case somebody is you know can't can't see and you know the goes right there so we want to put it down here we're gonna give it an ID we're gonna assign the ID to the anchor tag ID is LBF opt-in FB connect it's gonna be a little bit long but that is the best way to name 
your IDs because when somebody reads what's the LBF opt-in FB connect they, they pretty much know exactly what it is position relative top let's say 100 picks and see what that gives us did I not save okay so we're gonna go ahead and keep bumping that down a bit top 200 240 too much nah, there we go okay and we'll do left 100 picks let's see that's probably gonna send it way over okay so left is zero picks let's see if we can do negative 10 because that's not lining up right and 10 is too much so we'll do 8 and you know what no we're going to inspect element anchor and we'll go left negative nine sounds like somebody's power washing my house right now okay and as you can see this kind of got bumped down a little bit and so did this so we're gonna we're gonna go back and adjust those and if this is 45 pixels tall well, let's just bump everything back up 20 pixels top 118 that would be 98 okay we'll see what that does okay a little bit much 108 and 140 so we're just gonna add 10 to everything and that looks good so now we can type in our email address click submit and whatnot the next step is to take this over to the website and just copy and paste your CSS into the CSS file copy your HTML into the HTML file wherever it needs to go and you are all set I hope you guys learned something from watching this if you have any questions or if you need help getting started on, on what to make your opt-in form with you know hit me up let me know I, I'm always working on this kind of stuff and this is this is the kind of stuff that you need to know in order to be a really good front-end developer you know like this this looks almost identical to the the PSD other than you know the font here and um, I, yeah, it won't even tell me what font it is, which kind of sucks. So I'll have to get a hold of the designer. But other than that, looks great. And thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. AndrewKazer.com. Peace out.